Hello, Grumpy Old Fart here. Um, I'm doing a family game night video because I think it's, it's important that people, families, get together and talk. And what better way than sit around a table and bond over a role-playing game? This is something the whole family can do, and it's just, it's fun. You get to sit around, consume munchies, drink some sodas, and talk. Bullshit with your family. That's what it's about. Have some fun. That's, that's what these games are about. This particular one, I'm doing a family game night video of a Star Wars the role-playing game story. Uh, the, I'm titling this, The Time Boba Fett Did Not Kill Everyone. Um, years ago, my friend Dwayne was running a game of Star Wars, and I was playing, along with four other people. We had Jay, who was a Wookiee mercenary. We had Vern, who was a smuggler. Celia, who was the uh, playing a young Jedi, Wally, who was playing an arrogant noble, and I was running an engineer. I was the guy who fixed the ship. Um, during the course of the game, I discovered a number of things. Vern had a thing for Celia. I did not know this when we started, but apparently he did. And it, it, it manifested in several ways throughout the game. Uh, Wally's noble had a serious price on his head. He had worked that out with a game master before, and Dwayne knew all about it. Uh, apparently this noble was wanted by the Empire. This was back during uh, the rebellion when Luke and, and, uh, and uh, Princess Leia and Han Solo were, were fighting against Darth Vader, Darth Vader and, and Palpatine and them. Um, the entire, and the other thing I learned was that the entire group apparently was definitely afraid of Boba Fett. For those of you who don't know or aren't Star Wars fans, one, shame on you. And two, Boba Fett is a bounty hunter, a notorious bounty, bounty hunter. He's the one guy that wasn't afraid to talk crap back to, to Darth Vader. Um, he's notorious for killing Jedis. He's, uh, he's the quintessential paid gunman, basically. Uh, now Vern, with a serious crush on Celia, put a lot of weight behind anything she said or did. I mean, she was the uh, the young Jedi, and her character wasn't really that powerful. But man, anything he did, she he was he was all over it because he, he kind of had a thing for it. And I understand that, but you know. Um, and plus, we were on his ship, so I was kind of stuck with that. Uh, her Jedi had an ability called instinctive astrogation, and he had relied on it excessively. Uh, his ship had a, a navigation computer, but her instinctive astrogation worked faster. So it made for faster getaways. Uh, and twice before, we had barely escaped using that instinct of astrogation. She would tell him the coordinates, he would put them in, and boom, go. Rather than plug the, your destination into the computer and wait for the computer to, to, to calculate all the variables and work out a route. Because that took time. And in the meanwhile, while that's going on, the bad guys are shooting at you. So, yeah, he put a lot of weight behind her instinct of astrogation. Um... So what the, the particular scenario I'm talking about was our group was on an orbital shipyard and we were scoping out a new kind of an Imperial ship design. And we had one guy who was dressed as an Imperial and we had, uh, a, but the rest of us were, were sneaking around trying to find out what we could about this, this new ship design. Um, and Jay's Wookiee spotted a man in Mandalorian armor. And he... He freaked. He said, oh my god, it's Boba Fett. And so we all took off. And, and we didn't see the guy. He did. So we automatically assumed it was Boba Fett. So we took off. We're hauling ass back to the ship. And we, we had to take some twists and turns and get everybody back together and get them to the ship. But we, we did. We aborted the mission and we got right back to the ship. And, he, and, and Vern immediately jumped in there and he's piloting and he takes off. And so... Um... He was in such a hurry to leave, he told her, he told Celia, do your, do your astrogation thing, we got to go, we got to go. And so she did her astrogation, and he grabbed the coordinates, and they jumped. With all of us on board. Unfortunately, she failed her astrogation roll. Uh, the way Star Wars works is you have a number of D6s, you have a die code for each skill, 
and she used her force abilities and her force abilities she had I want to say five or six dice and she was pretty good you know but the way Star Wars works is there's one six out of die as a special and it's called your wild die if you roll a six you get to keep rolling a d6 and as long as you keep getting sixes you keep getting to add to it which is cool problem is if you roll a one it's an automatic failure unbeknownst to him she rolled a one on her wild die and but she didn't when you fail a roll like that you don't know you failed the roll it's like checking for traps if you don't you know if, if you fail it you don't know you failed all you know is there's no traps well she didn't know she failed all she knows is this is what the this is what you're supposed to go boom he put it in and went yeah so we we, we jumped into hyperspace and ended up inside a planet and died everybody the sad part was, it wasn't even Boba Fett. <laughs> Just some guy wearing armor. <laughs> you folks have a good day. God bless one and all.